right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening. And the enigmatic Spencer Humit over in red corner versus Jamie Powell, our very local from Aberdeen MMA in the blue corner. And this is a pro flyweight MMA bout over three, five minute rounds. And both these guys, absolute pocket rockets, really, really hit hard, speedy, great on the ground. This should be a really interesting fight. Yeah, I think this will be uh, very different from the previous fight we just had here. I think this is going to be fireworks. And I will remind the audience at home, this is a professional MMA bout, so knees and elbows to the head are allowed. And the Contenders Norwich flyweight title on the line, ladies and gentlemen. So both of these guys are going to be leaving it all in the cage tonight. Neither one wants to walk out without the belt around their waist. So I expect to see both of them giving it everything. Jamie needs to be careful. He can't just rush forward like that. Leaving himself very open to counters in that situation. Yeah, Spencer Hewitt, an experienced fighter. He's not going to... Uh, go down easily. Jamie Powell will have to work him out, grind him down. Both these guys looking absolutely massive for flyweight. I mean, they are huge flyweights. They must cut an insane amount of weight. Take down attempt there. Well, easily thwarted by Jamie Powell. Both guys staying really calm. Spencer now reverses his man. Bit of a stalemate here. Jamie employing the, uh, his underhook there, and they break back to the center. A nice, strong. Right leg kick there from Jamie. Applied in kind by Spencer Hewitt. Yeah, already a red welt on the left thigh of uh, Spencer is beginning to show from those only few leg kicks from Jamie. So oh, big overhand right there. Didn't land quite clean, but Jamie needs to be careful of that. Yeah, I mean, with these uh, four ounce gloves, it doesn't take much to catch your opponent. There's not much padding, but the gloves are essentially there to protect your knuckles. And both of these guys are absolutely rapid. Blinking, you'll miss it kind of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Really, really fast flying punches. Oh, James looking for an angle here. He's going left and right. He's looking for an opening. Can't see one. Oh, a nice shot landed there by Jamie. Yeah, no, very nice counter, very nicely timed. Spencer Hewitt just managed to duck out in time. Bailed out of his attack once he realised the counter attack was coming by Powell. Oh, oh, goes for a big right there. Yeah, he needs to be careful. Jamie can capitalise on those. So I think Jamie so far the more aggressive of the two. Controlling the centre a little bit more than his opponent. Yeah, he's had a few more moments in this first round that have made the difference. I would imagine judges would look favourably upon him so far in this round, certainly, but it's not over yet, ladies and gents. As we know in MMA, the tide can change very, very quickly. It certainly can. And Spencer's looking for takedowns there, but Jamie's, uh, oh dear, a bit of a low blow, but we carry on. Yeah, Jamie's angle change is uh, very, very good, very rapid. He has very good footwork. Oh, needs to be careful. Eats another right there from Spencer Hewitt. Oh, good strong jaw, though, pal. Oh, a nice, nice low kick there. Oh, that was very heavy in showboating, yeah. which only tells you that it, he felt it. Pal starting to get a little bit cocky now at the end of round number one. I think he's probably trying to tempt Spencer Hewitt into an attack and work on his counters. It might just work, but Hewitt, a veteran, he knows his game. He's not going to be lured in to an attack when he doesn't want to be. 
A big overhand right, followed by a left. Not landing cleanly. Again, Powell needs to be wary of it. And a nice little left hook there from Powell as we come towards the final closing seconds of round number one. It's been an interesting one. Again, neither fighter able to capitalise on any opportunities just yet, but you've got to feel it's coming. Second round or three here of our co-main event. Jamie Powell in the blue corner. Oh, and a knockdown. But mm. Spencer gets straight back up to his feet. Certainly does a nice shot there. I think that kind of took Spencer Hewitt by surprise more than hurt him. Knocked down by the, the sheer force of the shot rather than being stunned. Yeah, he looks more annoyed than anything. Certainly does. I mean, and that's something to say because he, uh, he started this fight looking quite annoyed. So for him to look more annoyed is a bit of a feat. Certainly got his attention though, being very cautious now. Powell moving left and right, searching for that angle. Hasn't quite found it yet, but if the start of this round's anything to go by, he may well find it again. I would like to see Powell go for a takedown of his own. Yeah, he's good on the ground. So far, Spence has been the only one yeah, to make nice. any effort to get it to the ground. That's a good counter there by Jamie Powell. Caught the leg. Fired off a straight left shot, really, really well timed. And Spencer Hewitt starts to come back into it. Hewitt's corner screaming to him for a takedown. They want him to take this one to the ground. Yeah, you have to wonder if they're sensing a feeling of desperation here because uh, Jamie's getting just the better of his exchanges. Yeah, Powell's getting wise now to this um, overhand right that's coming from Hewitt. He just, he's dubbed. Dobbed it a couple of times now. And see if Spencer Hewitt changes his game plan. Forward shout. Spencer's corner, but he moves backwards. Yeah, Powell definitely the aggressor thus far. But Spencer Hewitt, don't count him out, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the power, he's got the ability to turn this fight around. And a nice low left kick there from Jamie Powell. May just be starting to wear out that leg. A big welt appearing, like you say earlier, Tom X. Starting to look quite sore now. Is the left leg of... Gets his takedown. A mistake from Jamie there. Spencer capitalised on it, grabbed the leg. And now... We'll see what he does from guard. And I'll remind the audience, this is professional MMA, so elbows to the head are allowed from this position. And Jamie wants to stand this up straight away, Tom. You can see he's not wanting to mix it down there. Spencer Here come, Hewitt the, bombs. Comes up. Here come the bombs from Spencer. Jamie knows. And Spencer doesn't go for the damage. He goes for the guard pass instead. And Jamie Powell back up to his feet. Does not want to put this one on the ground by the looks of it, ladies and gents. So far, it's fair to say he probably has outstruck Spencer Hewitt standing up. It hasn't, the difference hasn't been palpable, but it's evident that Jamie Powell may well have a slight advantage in the stand-up game. So you can't blame him for wanting to take it straight back there. No, certainly not. Spencer shakes his head at his corner. Yeah, more work to that left leg. And some good knees there by Jamie Powell. I think, if anything, that exchange showed that uh, Jamie doesn't want anything to do with the groundwork of uh, Spencer Hewitt. He got up to his feet as fast as he could. He certainly feels he has an advantage, like you say, an advantage standing up. So he's just going to keep the fight there. And a nice low left kick by Spencer Hewitt. Powell comes back with a shot of his own. Very, very tense fight this one, Tomek. I don't know about you, but I get the feeling that both of these guys really really concerned about the outcome of this of this fight they've both got a lot on it yeah i'm inclined to agree but i think out of the two jamie's just that little bit more relaxed spencer's quite tense like you say but the trouble is tension translates to fatigue in the later rounds jamie powell shakes his head says that right shot from spencer hewitt did nothing it'll be 
inclined to agree that it did something. Certainly landed. Ooh. Yeah, James' footwork is uh, very good in this fight. We move it into the final 30 seconds of the round now. It's going to be another hard one to call, possibly just in favour of Jamie Powell, although remember Spencer Hewitt did have that spell on the ground. be very hard to call. It says bring it on. Let's hope that uh, Jamie Powell doesn't fall for that trick <laughs> and doesn't count as nicely. An old school veteran is Hewitt, playing the mind games, exhibiting the ring craft. Jamie Powell needs to be careful not to get sucked in. Third and final round, and Spencer raring to go. Having very stern words in his corner in between rounds. They're trying to make him have a sense of urgency in this fight, saying you need to make something happen here in the last round. I'd be inclined to agree. Yeah, Hewitt's a strong guy, but I'm pretty sure that Powell's got the measure of him so far. That's a big shot. Spencer Hewitt enjoyed that. He says, come on, more of that. And if he has more of that, he will get knocked out. That was a clean uppercut. Why does Jamie Powell I keep a higher left hand? Again, he goes for the takedown, but it's just not there. And up against the fence now in a bad place for Hewitt. Nothing's really working for him here. Hewitt's corner screaming at him. If you want this fight, you've got to work for it. Not really doing too much at the moment. The trouble yeah. is, J Jamie's footwork has been so exceptional in this fight. He's so constantly soaking around, not allowing the older man any room. Look at that counter. And it's all down to his footwork and positioning. He's just all over him, really. And Spencer's constantly on the back foot. That's what he needs. He needs to push forward. Jamie's just constantly cutting him off, cutting off angles, looking for that opening. He's throwing encounters, then he's moving away. Oh, nice body shot there from Powell. Just has the little bit of extra speed over Hewitt, but don't count out the veteran yet, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we come back to the old saying, never count your chickens before they hatch. And in MMA, you certainly can't count any chickens. You just do not know what's going to come out of this fight. Oh, yeah, bit of an exchange there. You can sense a sense of desperation in the MMA Terra's uh, corner here. And Spencer, heavy breathing as well, while Jamie's still looking quite fresh. And Powell's starting to open up a little bit now. Hewitt's definitely on the back foot now, Tomek. Lost some of his early aggressiveness. Powell does seem to be taking the fight to him. I would like to see Jamie just go for a takedown here to solidify this round. Just to make a statement. Still got a lot of time left. You can't help but feel that he's probably biding his time until he gets towards the end. He's done enough so far in this round. The question is, can he keep stacking up the points with the judges? Spencer Hewitt's corner absolutely irate with their fighter. Yeah, they are screaming. He's screaming, work, work, work. I think Hewitt doesn't have much left in the tank here. He's done his back foot. Nose bleeding. Jamie's circling him off again. Fainting. Very, very impressive game plan from the young Abdon fighter here. Showcasing his uh, talent. It's meant to hear it looking to tee up that right hand. You saw him cock it back there, ready to fire. A very tired looking side push kick there from Hewitt. And that might be an indicator that he's not got much left in the tank, as you say, Tomek. 
A nice shot there from Jamie Powell. Just sits back, relaxes. That's a very good, wise decision there from Powell. Didn't empty the tank, didn't go in too close, just sat back, took his time, took the point. Yeah, it's shown great maturity there. But at the same time, like to him be a bit more aggressive here. Good aggressiveness again from Powell there. As we move into the final minute of the third round. So far it's been Jamie Powell. Spencer Hewitt's corner screaming at him saying, you need something, you've got to do something. But he doesn't look like he's got the gas. No, he certainly doesn't. Mouth open, breathing heavily. Last minute here. Less than 30 seconds left in this fight. And Jamie Powell right now has got... I think Jamie knows it. He knows he's won this fight. He's just uh, taking, his, taking his time here. He doesn't want to make any last-minute last, last minute mistakes. Spencer Hewitt, an admirable opponent. But so far, it looks like Jamie Powell may just be walking out of the Norfolk showground as the Contenders Norwich Flyweight title. As the decision goes to the judges, we shall see who is going to be the champ. Thank you. 